Kyle from Scram Speed here. Got that cord of steel at black in the mail finally, and uh, I'm super excited to try it. I had the gentleman actually from Wild Power Sports, the place I ordered it, uh, he, he called me and uh, said I won some runner-up thing once I placed the order. So actually, while I have him on the phone, I asked him a handful of questions about the product, and they gave me nothing but, but good things uh, to try and test and, and some do's and don'ts of things to do if you try to brush it on and how you want to apply it on things like uh, um, already coated roll cages and grits and, and all that stuff. Um, reasons why the brake fluid um, didn't work on this style versus their epoxy line. Um, I, he answered all those questions for me, so it was really helpful. But today I wanted to test out the same product that we already tried to spray um, on a brush and, and see how it applies. So I have a test piece ready and I'll, I'll show you guys that. So the test piece we're going to be trying is just some uh, 1 and 5 eighths uh, OED3 dockle. We're going to see how it coats with a foam brush. This is um, just a, a cheap foam brush you can get from any hardware store. We're going to give this a try and, and go with the recommended coats of uh, two. So we're going to put one coat on, wait four hours, put another coat on, see how it works. Uh, I shook it for like five minutes to make sure it was good and mixed up. It's been sitting in a you know, climate controlled shop, shouldn't have any reason it should be thick or anything like that, but we're going to put a, a couple coats on, see how it holds up. Okay, I just got done with the first coat of the uh, steel it black brush on with a foam roller and, and I can already tell you it, it's not a good product to use with a brush. It didn't level out at all. It leveled out way worse than Rust-Oleum does. Uh, I tried to put it on extra thick in that top area and, and you can see it just brush streaked all to hell. And then the spots that I did with a normal you know, brush you can kind of see is just, it's streaky streaky bad bad so unless somehow uh, two coats makes it all nice and better which I guarantee it's not then it's definitely not a product you can use with a foam brush I'll uh, I'll brush on a little bit more just so that way you can kind of see how it streaks the consistency of it is really thick I think if you're gonna use it out of a uh, you know out of a normal spray gun you would have to dilute it at least a little bit it's it's pretty thick unless you're using some crazy tipped you know like 2 tip on a, a solder or something so um, so if you get it on there, I'll just do a little brush on. It's uh, it's really it's really thick, so you gotta you know kind of spread around as not to run it. It did want to run just a little bit, the for the first couple brush strokes when I was trying to put it on thick. But even if you put it on nice and thick, and go as gentle as you can, it does not level out. So that's a pretty thick coat right there. I'll just let that sit for a second, so that way you can see. Whoops, there you go. Um, I'll wait a, a couple hours, the recommended time, and I'll put one more coat on and then show you the final product. Well, it's the next morning, and uh, I'm really disappointed in this product in a can, in the, the quart can. It didn't turn out nearly as good as I thought it was going to. I was really hoping I had the solution to roll cage coating and not having to use any kind of a, uh, you know, a hammered effect to really get everything covered and looking good. Uh, the stuff seemed like it was thick enough to cover imperfections, yet would hopefully lay smooth, and it just did not lay at all. So, it looks like wood. It's exactly what it looks like. It's really streaky. It's as streaky as you would think house paint would be or something normal like that. It just it, it streaks all to hell. And I was even using a foam brush that doesn't have any bristles or anything. That's just actual foam brush going over it. It's still horribly streaky. looks bad. Um, let me show you a close-up. So, here's what it looks like. Super close up, wood grain effect in full action. Really wish that stuff would have laid out nice. That would have been a kick ass product to use on roll cages and in chassis components if you could brush it on. So, steal it in a court, not so much. Steal it in a can, very much so. So, if you're going to try this product, very much try it in the aerosol based versus the court based unless you have the ability to spray through a gun and it requires a large tip so I'm sure it sprays pretty thick but even the guys from Wild Power Sports said they didn't have great luck spraying it through any sort of a, a gun with a certain size tip now they said that they use a cheap gun and all that kind of stuff but you know if you really really wanted to experiment with it I'm sure you'd go out and find a method to do through a gun that's you know a nice way to lay out, but as far as anybody at home that's going to be using this product every once in a while, use this stuff, not this stuff.